So now we have this new kind of electric field. So we should point out that induced E fields are different from electrostatic fields. Now, I don't make it sound like there are two kinds of electric field. There is only one electric field. Both, by definition, say that F equals Q times E. That's still what electric field is. It's just if you have one created just by static charge, and if you have one created by induction, they just behave differently. And certain things you calculate about them will come out different. They're still both just electric fields. If I put a point in space with my finger and you say there's a charge moves, there's an electric field there, you actually don't know if you just look there whether it was induced or whether it's electrostatic. There's no way to tell if you do a certain point in time. Okay, so for one example, is electrostatic start and stop on charge? So by the way, when I say an electrostatic field, I mean everything we've talked about until the last few minutes. Okay? So all the stuff from the beginning of the class was all electrostatic. So this was the case if we have you know, a positive charge here and a negative charge here, we know we get a strong field going this way, and then we can imagine it doing that. If we draw these field lines, they always start on the positive and end on the negative. And if we ever had a moment where we just drew a uniform electrostatic field, we knew somewhere it was implied that there must have been a plane of charge making it. Right? We didn't worry about where it started and stopped. But in principle, any field we ever drew, electrostatic field we ever drew, had to start and stop on charge somewhere, even if it were at infinity. Okay? So what's different is an induced E field An induced E field makes loops. It's more kind of like what you think of as a magnetic field. They just go around and it loops on itself. And it has no explicit charge source like an electrostatic field does. It can only be created by induction, by a changing magnetic field. It also can't look like that fixed in time. Right? These are not static. These are always changing. So you would never just have a loop of E field just sitting there. You can only have one appear due to a change in magnetic field and then disappear or and then change. Another difference, that's sort of a geometric difference. Another difference is electrostatic E have a potential. So remember we showed you can think in terms of forces kind of like E fields, or you can think in terms of energy, like potential. And they had this nice relationship. The delta, the change of potential, was the integral from one position I to another position F of E dot dS. And there's a negative sign there. They had a well-defined potential. And the idea was, in an electrostatic field, anywhere you go, you might change potential. If you start here, you can go, say, here. Potential will be different. But if you ever go all the way back to where you started, the potential was always the same. If you did a bunch of work against the field, and then you go uh, work, uh, do some work from the field, one way or the other, if you go around the loop, um, the potential is zero. And you can see that if you do this integral, whatever happens, if you plug in the same position, initial final, you're going to get zero. Okay? So the delta V, also delta V, um, so, so, so if you have the integral around a closed loop, E dot ds, it's going to be zero. Okay. But then the final thing is that induced fields have no potential. And in the sense that I mean is that there's no well-defined potential. There's no mathematical you can thing you can write as a potential that obeys some rules like this. For example, if you were to take this equation, and I would say I want to go around a loop and take E dot ds, you're not going to get zero. So just think about, I don't have any with me, but think about this case where we go around a loop uh, in, in a metal. 
Right? We start here, we go all the way around, say we push against field, push against field, and get back to here. We've had to do a lot of work to make that loop because the, the field line is going in a circle. Right? So you don't get zero. You actually get minus d phi b dt. So you can't define a potential and use it to solve problems with induced fields like you can with electrostatic fields. They are different in that respect. 